Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. Today I'm going to be moving into my setting up and moving into my transformer planner for August. Um, if you've watched any of the first see, seven months of my monthly move in and set up videos, then you know that I have up until now had a three section transformer planner. I am officially adding a fourth section. I am adding uh, permanently keeping my horizontal journaling planner is going to have its own section now in my transformer planner. So for those of you that are new to transformer planning, a transformer planner is a subset of Franken planning. So it's where you, any Franken planning, anytime you take a happy notes or pieces, parts from more than one thing and combine them together, you have created a Frankenstein, a Franken planner. You've taken pieces, parts and put them together. So a transformer planner goes a step further. It takes several sections. It can be a notes section. It can be different sections from different planners, um, a budgeting planner, a family planner, a teacher planner. Anytime you take different sections from different planners and put them together, um, you have created a Franken planner. In the transformer case, you have multiple sets of covers and I'll show you, you can flip them around to make any plan, any section of your planner, your main front planner at a get at a moment's notice. It transforms from one to another. So, with all that being said, these are some new covers. They are not um, in my cover tour video because I just made these. I did make a video of the process. Um, this is different because this is not scrapbook paper. These are actual photos. These happen to be photos of pieces of art my husband has painted over the years. Um, those of you that are subscribers know that my husband is a professional artist. Um, I, I note his gallery work days um, in my catch-all planner on occasion. He goes on painting trips. Um, so he has a website. Uh, in case you're curious, um, no pressure or anything really. I just, if you, if you are curious, if you see something that catches your eye, you can buy prints in any size at any finish on his website. Here's his website and I will link this in the description box. It's John, J-O-N, no H, johnbradham.com. Um, he's having a great time in life, enjoying doing artwork and I love, 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 especially the coastal stuff that he does. He does a lot of landscapes and this is probably my favorite painting of all time that he did. He did this back a few years after we met back in 1999. Um, on a, it was a trip to the coast and we saw this boat and I, I, had, I have had this painting hanging, it's in our hallway right now and I've had it hanging in various office cubicles at work over the years um, and I thought, hey, um, we're going on a, on a vacation to the coast, um, I want coastal covers for my planner so I had Walmart print me a copy of that for 69 cents and I laminated it and made it into a cover. And there's the coordinating cover. So, in, so my covers are always reversible. This is the front of my planner. This is the back. It's just a piece of scrapbook paper. Or, just like those mini notes they had a couple years ago, this could be a front. This is another painting you did. This is Spain or La Havre, France. I can't remember which. Um, and this is the back. Just another piece of scrapbook paper. So there you go. I, I always make my covers reversible. So we're setting this up on expander discs. Since I'm going to have four different planners combined, I can't fit all 12 months of four planners. But if I do three months of four planners, that's 12 months. So that's the normal size of a planner. The only addition is the extra thickness of the bookmarks and the extra thickness of the extra covers. And I'll show you why I like multiple sets of covers to allow me to transform my planner. So this is going to be my catch-all. I'm going to put my catch-all stuff in here. So, so far the setup for a transformer planner is exactly like a normal planner. Um, I'm going to put my, my title page in and my perpetual calendar. Oops, I don't need that page. So I use the Cat Lady Planner. I love seasonal planners. There wasn't a seasonal planner, so I've been making the Cat Lady Planner seasonal for myself by printing pages of vellum. So this was my June vellum. It's got all kinds of picnic stuff and going out and having a bottle of wine. 
Um, I do have a video on how to print vellum. It's in my how-to playlist, so just look for that. So I keep, what do I do with the other nine months that aren't in my active planner? I keep an archive. This is a placemat. I think I got it at Walmart or Dollar Tree. If you cut them in half, round the corners, punch them, you can get a front and a back cover out of one placemat. You can see these connect. I shifted it a little bit to center different things. And then I just got my label maker out and I printed labels. This is a folder. This was a kids back to school folder. Again, I took the front and the back and cut them apart to make a divider. So these are my past, my used months. So June is gonna come out of my planner. That is my past month. Cause we're, oops, and I grabbed the vellum again. We're doing, for August, I need my previous, so July, my current, so that would be August, and my future, so September. And that usually is all I need to refer back to time frame wise um, on, a, on a fairly regular basis. Oops, I got a little note card that's trying to pop out. So we're going to put previous. We're going to move July over. Pop that in. My discs are really, really flat because there's nothing on them yet. So we'll put previous. We'll put July in there. With July's vellum, you can see my little black kitty calcifer looking up at the fireworks. He, he's getting better. They used to scare him to death and he's getting better about it. So there is my little note card for our vacation week in case I want to make a little shopping list or something. Okay, so that was previous. This is August move in, so I'm going to put move August over for current. And there's that piece of vellum. Two little it's a Japanese woodblock print of two little kitties curled up sleeping with a bird kind of looking at them like, ha, ah, you don't even know I'm here to go with that divider. And then future month is going to be August. So back in my archive, these are used past months. Flip my divider over, here's September, my future month. I'll pull that out. And these are just spare discs I got on AliExpress. I will link that in the description box as well. That's like the, basically the Asian equivalent of Amazon. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get this archive out of the way. <coughs> so here's my bookmark I made to go with these covers. So we'll just, for now, we'll just go ahead and throw that in August. I, I'm moving in a little bit early because I want it to be done for our trip. There we go. All right, so. As of right now, it's not a transformer planner. It's just, oh, I need to spin the discs on these new covers I just made. Um, if you have trouble with your covers turning easily on your discs, just do this, do what I'm doing. Spin these until they start to turn easy. You just have to loosen them up a little bit. So there we go. Okay, so right now I have a tiny, skinny, little normal planner with only three months in it. So how we make this into a transformer planner. Oh, and I forgot my notes section. I have a small notes section in my catch-all planner. Okay, so to make this into a transformer planner, you're gonna go to the very, very back, inside the back cover, okay? We're inside the back cover. Now I'm gonna take my next set of covers, so I'm gonna use these, and I'm gonna put my front cover on, just like I normally would, to the right, but here's the tricky part. I'm gonna put my back cover on to the left, okay? as if my planner was open face down. And here's why. When I pick this up and it swings shut, now I have, if this is what I want, dreams, to be my social media planner, because I'm dreaming about growing my social media, now I have a matching back cover. See, because I put them on, because of the way I put them on, when I grab the discs and flip it shut, it just transformed into my social media planner. Hello, Calcifer. Hello. Are you gonna help mommy? <laughs> okay, so hopefully he's not gonna be too distracting. He's trying to decide what he wants to do. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, he's sitting off to the side. So this is the front of my social media planner. If I wanna go to my catch-all planner, I go to that cover, pick it up by the discs, let it flip shut, and now it's just transformed into my catch-all cat lady planner. When I open the front, the back cover is the cover I want to match, and here comes Calcifer again. <laughs> okay, so going back to my social media planner, flipping it shut, 
back cover, front cover. So I open my front cover, excuse me, and this is where I'm going to put all my social media pages. So in my social media planner, we're just going to work around him until he makes it impossible, which might be very soon. I like to keep a dashboard. So this is a dashboard divider. There's also a dashboard planner, which happens to also be what my social media planner is. So I keep this inside the front cover. Next I have my name page and my perpetual calendar. I don't use that currently, so I just covered it with a piece of scrapbook paper so it doesn't have a weird thing there that's not unused and doesn't make any sense. So there's my perpetual calendar. Okay, so since we're doing August move in, I need to move June into my archive. That's June. Can't tell because of the glare. So here's my social media archive. Got to stay caffeinated to, to make the work happen. <laughs> So that's my caffeine placemat I cut. So I'm gonna to go to my divider here, past months. We're gonna move June into there. Don't need it anymore, it's, it's two months ago now for August. So in, in your current month, in August, say August is your current month, you may want to refer back to something that happened the previous month, July. You could wanna refer back further. If so, just grab your archive, but on a, frequent basis you usually I usually only need to go back about a month or so so now we'll go get my bookmark out of the way okay so now we'll go previous month since this is August to move in July, July is my previous month so we're gonna put it in so three months three months of each calendar each planner previous current and next this is August move in, so August is my current, so we'll put that in. And then back to my archive, flip the divider between previous months and future months, and we'll grab September, because now September is my future month. I might want to schedule something out into, out into September, so three months. September is my third month, so we'll put that in. Since this is August move in, I'm just going to go ahead and throw my um, bookmark into August. All right. And then I have a small notes section in my social media planner, so we'll move that over as well. There we go. Okay, so now I have a transformer planner with six months in it, three months of social media, and three months of catch all. So depending on how I transform it, if I go to the next set of covers, I gotta soften up these covers. Let it flip shut, there we go. So now I have my catch-all, cat lady. Next set of covers, it would transform and go to my social media planner. Like so. There we go, so now I've got matching covers on the front and the back. And now when I open the cover, there's my social media planner. Okay, so to add the next section, which is gonna be my wellness planner, we're gonna go to the very, very back again. Very back, actually I want it to be here. You can have your planners in whatever order you want. I like my wellness to be behind my social media. I don't know why. So I'm gonna have my social media at the very back, go into the very, very, very back. So this is all my social media stuff. I'm gonna put my next set of covers in. So for this one, this was a 2019 planner. It actually says 2019 in silver foil under that sticker, but now you can't tell. And it's a it was the coastal, the coastal planner. It was very neutral. Um, so I'm gonna put my front cover on the normal right hand side, just like you normally would. I'm gonna put my back cover again to the left instead. There we go, now when I grab it and let it swing shut, bam. Front cover matches back cover. I open the front cover and this is where all my health and wellness stuff goes. Okay, so I'll grab my title page. I don't use the perpetual calendar in this um, planner. I don't need to put birthdays or anything like that in there. 
ladies you could keep track of your cycle if you wanted to there um i i i just i don't use that for anything calcifer thank you for your help buddy okay so again we i have my wellness archive here so i don't need june anymore this is our august move in so june is now done with it needs to come out it's not one of the three main months so we'll pull it out we'll put it in the archive okay then for august move in now july becomes our previous month let me get my bookmark out of there i'm going to use a different bookmark <clears throat> okay so july previous month this incidentally is one of the dividers that went with this this cover um, okay current month is going to be august so we'll put that in this is this blue bookmark with the clouds on it i think this came from one of the baby extension packs um, that's what i'm going to use for this planner so i'm just going to throw this for now into August and then three months so I want to go ahead and put in September so I come back into my my archive flip past my divider and here is then September so that's future month because again we're moving in for August so July August September are my three months there we go. I don't have a notes section in this in my wellness planner, so that's everything there. All right. So now we have three sets of covers and nine months and a couple little bits of notes and a um, a dashboard with some sticky notes on it. It's getting kind of full. That's okay. Looks like there's something sticky on that disc. Um, all right. So now, last but not least, and, and we transform, right? So you go to your next set of covers, flip it open, front cover matches back cover. Now I've got my cat lady planner right there. Cat just transformed to catch all planner. All right, so one more section. This is the new section. So again, final time, I'm gonna go into the very, very, very back, just inside the back cover, put on the cover that I want to be my front cover. Put on, can't grab it, the cover that I want to be my back cover. So these are both big rocks, um, cliffs and rocks that my husband pa painted um, on the west coast here. This is Haystack Rock down in Cannon Beach, and this is a cliff in um, northern Washington on the coast. You can see the sea spray. Just love these paintings. Anyway, okay, so now it flips shut. And now I have my final section, which is going to be my journaling planner. Um, so this is the first time I've done horizontal. I tried it out in July. I got this planner and I didn't know if I would stick with it or not. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. Um, it's growing so much of my confidence for doing my own hand lettering. Um, and I like looking back um, into the quotes I've already put. Um, if one sounds familiar, to make sure that I didn't, I don't put it in there two months in a row. Um, I don't want to double up. So there is my name page, and yes, I wrote my name myself. I'm not really using the perpetual calendar, so I actually, you know what? Decision on the fly. <coughs> my planner's thick enough. I'm not going to put those in. For now, I'm not using this cover for anything else, so I can just use it as my archive. But what I'll probably end up doing, because I like to have this cover available to put in rotation. Um, that would be a beautiful spring cover. I might use that in April or May of next year, especially since it doesn't have a year on it. So I don't like to leave the Happy Planner covers on my archive. I want to use stuff that I would never use as a cover on my actual planner so that these are freed up and available. All right, so July is going to be my previous month when August is the month, so we'll put July in. Oh man, expander discs may not be big enough, my goodness. I never dreamed that would be the case. August will be our current month, so we'll grab August. Oh 
might be too much. I don't really, you know what? This is another decision made on the fly. Normally I would put September in, three months in each planner, but I don't really, I don't think I need to look forward a month um, in my motivational quotes because there really won't be anything there yet and I don't really need to plan on anything being there. And then I just grabbed this bookmark because I thought it looked nice with that those photos on that cover. So there we go. That is my four section transformer planner on expansion discs all put together. There we go. It's 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 chubby already. So this cover opens up and there's my um motivational quote planner. If I flip to the next set of covers, transform. Oh, I got to spin the discs. Again, if your discs have trouble spinning, this is how you fix them. Some of them spin really, really easy. And some of them, it seems to be my end discs don't spin very easily at all. But the more you work them, the better they get. So there we go. All right. So there's my catch-all planner. All right, so let's go to, let's go one more section in. Here is my social media planner. We've come back around. So I do a special thing in my social media planner. This is what my monthly looks like now that it's being used. I just list out what video is posting what day. Um, and then inside that, so this is all the different challenges. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from different challenges, and the um, <clears throat> if you haven't if you haven't noticed in my description box, I talk about um, the Happy Planning Tips and Tricks group on Facebook. So I am one of the leaders of that group. We've got more than fifteen thousand members now, um, and we are growing by leaps and bounds. We have our own challenge now. These were the challenge categories for the five weeks in July. Patriotism, Wild for Washi, Summer Fun, Olympics, and Beach Week. And we do have um, our challenge pretty much squared away. We'll be posting it very soon for August. But um, there are many, many challenges, more so than just our group, which check our group out. I will link it in the description box. Um, no selling in our group. We're all about the tips and the tricks and just sharing spreads. Um, <clears throat> so, August. This is These are pages from a monthly planner. This is from the monthly planner. I don't use the checklists, but I do like having a place in my planner before my first dashboard week to keep track of the challenges. So let me show you how I set that up. So this is actually, this calendar is actually from a monthly. I keep the back side of this page. Like I said, I don't use the checklists from the monthly plan. If you've never seen a monthly layout, basically there's a set of checklists for each day of the month. So if it's a 31 day month, there will be 31 checklists. Um, August is a 31 day month. So there, I took some pages out because I just don't need them. So what I do then is I have my different, um, I almost said quests. I don't know why I got gamer brain all of a sudden. Anyway, um, Use your words, Judy. Here's the calendar page from the dashboard. So I won't use this calendar page. I'll use the monthly calendar page. Let me show you how I set this up. There are, let's just check real quick. There are one, two, three, four weeks in the August month for Happy Planner. So I need four columns so I can list all my different challenges. So to set this up, I'm going to cut the edge of this page off because I do like to use these habit trackers to check my posts, make sure I'm posting on my social medias. So what I'm going to do is cut the edge of this page off. You can see they've got the same bit here. So if I cut this page off right where this green line is, I can glue it, I can tape runner it down and you won't even be able to tell that that's an extra page. So I'm just going to line this up. These are lined up side to side together. Oops, it's probably an easier way to do this, but this works for me. There we go. Okay, we'll pull this one out. We'll chop this one off. 
There we go. Don't need that. Okay, done with this. So I'm gonna grab my tape runner. I'm just gonna go all the way around this, even in between the punches. Oops, back of a piece of contact paper that I used for a different project. Get that ever-present cat hair off of there. There we go. Okay, let's line this up. Carefully around the punches, I don't need any more trouble spinning the discs than I already have. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so then this is gonna get tape runnered to the backside of my first dashboard week so that I turn straight from challenges to my first week of dashboard. Okay, so how I set this up then, since I know that there are four weeks in August, I'm just gonna divide this in half, so I have one week, two week, and divide this in half, three weeks, four weeks. So I'm gonna grab, let's grab a highlighter. Um, how about, this is green. August always feels like sunflowers to me. So I'm just gonna grab a highlighter in kind of a mustard yellow. That's pretty orange, I don't want that one. These are Sharpie S notes. I like them because they're not typical neon colors. Okay, um, and a straight edge. So I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate. That looks like about halfway to me, right about there. I used to do this with washi tape, but oh my gosh, cutting the washi tape over and over and over again was a lot. Okay, it's a little lopsided. This one's fatter than this one, but that's, I'll live with it. No harm done. This one will go about here. Next thing I wanna do is grab a few colorful boxes so I can put dates up here. And I like these ombre ones for this. Um, I think there's a green and yellow section. Since I have green and yellow. And I have two copies of this book in here combined together, in case you were wondering. Yeah, look at, look at how these go from kind of bluish through green to yellow. I like those. Let's use a couple of those. Grab my tweezers. Ooh, that yellow is good. That definitely matches. So let's go. I mean, I know that's blue, but you know what I'm going to say. That's okay. I'm pretty easy going if you guys ever knew me in real life. That was all I needed out of this book. I do want to move this one over off that highlighter line. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I was zoomed way, way out so that you guys could see everything in my setup portion where I had four different books open at the same time. So the first week, grab my, let's use a micron. So this is going to be 08, 02 through 08, 08. And then August 1st is actually in the July, the last week in July, and August 30th and 31st will be the first two days in September. Um, so whichever days of the week, whichever month, hmm, there are seven days in a week. So if, if it's split three and four, like three of one month and four of the other month, whichever month has the most days, that's the month that the week will be in, if that makes any sense. It, it's hard to explain, but, um, they don't ever do a half of a week in a happy planner. It's always a full week. It just snags a couple days from the previous or the next month. Okay, so the next thing I do then is actually write the hashtag, if there is one, and most of them have one, that if you're not an Instagram user, you probably don't know what a hashtag is. Um, so I just go ahead and write in what the hashtag is for each challenge. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna speed this up, but I will go ahead and write those in. And I am gonna start with my group's challenge, why not? So it is HP 
T N T for tips and tricks challenge. That is our hashtag. So if you search on that hashtag in Instagram or in Facebook, you'll start to see posts coming up. Some of them, some of them have the year, some of them have the month, in which case you have to search on a new hashtag every single month, which personally I don't care for. Then I end up with a ton of different hashtags on my feed. Some of them are old. Um, I like just having one hashtag and you can just go back as far as you want to go back. So there's HPTNT challenge. And then we usually have one option and we elaborate a little bit. Um, one of our weeks in August is going to be a pen only week. And we try to pick at least one of the weeks where you're going to have to try a technique that you're not familiar with. So almost everybody always uses stickers. Um, we're going to challenge you to at least use a pen. Maybe not be pen only, but be brave and use a pen. And we will have then tips and tricks and examples <coughs> of ways that you can decorate in your planner with just pen. Um, our tip trick tie-in week in July was washi week, so encourage you to try using washi in your planner in a new way. Okay, so moving on then, this first one changes the month and the year ultimately, so. And I use the little box to put, um, since I do catch-all, dashboard, wellness, horizontal, and lettering, um, I will write a little letter inside each one to help me remember which, when I'm posting which tags to tag, um, which spread I used them on. So that is all the challenges I know of. I am always, always looking for more challenges. So if you know of one that I don't have listed, please, please leave me a comment about it so that I can look it up and add it to my list and share it. I love to share challenges with people when they say, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't have any ideas um, for my spread. I, or maybe they do so many spreads like me and they just don't have they're out of ideas. Um, I just love to say, hey, have you checked out and have you heard of challenges? Have you tried them? So I'm always looking for more challenges. They're my favorite. I love them. So, all right. Then over here, I track um, my different posts, making sure I'm posting on a regular basis. So Facebook posts. And these are just some matte sticker paper labels I made myself, um, Instagram posts, let's see, I think I just want to use Instagram, I have Instagram stories, but I'm going to cut it off and just make it Instagram, because as long as I'm putting something on Instagram, I'm happy, I'm not a big story person, <laughs> and then, um, Let's see, the last one is YouTube. So I took some days off in June, um, much needed days off. I was starting to get a little burnt out and unenthusiastic. And so this way I could just keep track of what days I was taking off. So, and then I have, I had some extra space on a piece of sticker paper. So I went ahead and printed some little icons. And I hardly ever use them in my weekly social media spread because the colors never match my color scheme for whatever my theme is for the week. But it's fun to have them here and I have them so why not go ahead and use them up. That is it. My social media planner is all set up and ready to go for August as soon as I pop these pages back in. 
And again, so this is the very last page of the monthly planner that I've combined with my dashboard planner. I don't use it. Um, normally I would tape runner <coughs> this to this so that they turn as one page. But if I decide I want to use a piece of scrapbook paper here, then I don't need that extra thickness. So I'm going to wait and just put it in there like that. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and start checking these hashtags or the people who lead these hashtags. So if you ever want to see the HPTNT challenge when it comes out, make sure you're following me. Um, I, I lead that challenge. I'm the one that posts it so you will know it. Um, it's going to go up next week. You'll get to see it. You can, and once, once I post it then, if you do a page like this, then you can just write them down. And when you go to start looking for ideas, what do I want to do this week? You have all your challenges written down. You can say, ooh, flower power. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I can use that pressed floral sticker book that I haven't used yet. Or, um, I don't know, sunflowers maybe. Like I said, it feels like a sunflower month to me. So, Or maybe, maybe your planner has blue lines. And so when somebody puts down um, tropical as a... As a a challenge theme you, that that one catches your attention um, because the lines are blue and you were looking for some kind of an idea on what to do with blue lines. So challenges can have all kinds of fun impacts and um, repercussions that you aren't aware of. So anyway, there we go. That was my August setup. I am all ready, um, all moved in and ready to go in my planner for August with now four sections. My horizontal lettering, if you've been following me, um, is going very well. I am absolutely loving putting quotes in. Um, I'll just do a super quick flip through. I'm not using the monthly on this yet. Um, I haven't really figured out what to do with it yet. So here is, so I hand lettered all of these and I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. It's I'm, I can mess up, you know, I, I started this one down a line too low, so there's a little bit of gap there, but that's okay. Um, I just love it. I'm really enjoying it. There was the second week. And here is the third week, so just really loving it, really enjoying it. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to try some new things in your planner. If you're still searching for planner piece, maybe give transformer planning a try. Um, I really like having everything in one planner sitting on my desk. If I'm going to work on quotes, I just flip to that and have that one in the front. If I'm going to work on wellness, I can flip back to wellness and have wellness front and center in my planner. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.